She was unconsciously searching for her feather. I guess the heart has a way of knowing what it needs most. Yeah. Huh? Oh! I'm awake! It's about time. In my dream, yeah! I found feathers! Well, that doesn't help much, does it? How about looking when you're awake? You can count on Mokida! A pure, innocent kindness that overwhelms cruelty and warms the hearts of the wicked and corrupt. Maybe that's Sakura's essence. Who she really is. Yeah. I'll search again tomorrow, Sakura. And this time, I'll find your feather, no matter what. How are you feeling? Your Highness. So please, it's just us. You don't have to be so formal. Just call me by my name. Uh, sure, sure princess. princess. I mean, Sakura. So, how are you? Are you feeling any better now? I'm okay. The doctor said it's only a slight fever. It'll go down quickly with a little rest, so don't worry about me. But I think maybe, if you hold my hand, it might make me feel better a little bit faster. Is that okay? <laughs> you should probably try to sleep for a little while.
Good evening, my darling one. I'm home. <laughs> How about a little welcome home kiss? Right here, right here. <laughs> I see. So I take it you didn't find the feather today. Right. So what do we know so far that can help us find it? Wow, look at that bump. It's huge. Oh, she's so strong. So okay. strong, so strong. Well, this is where Mokina first sensed the feather we're looking for. It was right here on this bridge. And then the second time, it was outside near that dumpling shop. Isn't that right? Yeah, but I thought it was just a dream. Nope, it really happened. I realized it later. <laughs> Would you make up your mind, you little furball? Don't be a grump, curl poo. I told you don't call me that. If Mokin is sensing the feather in different places, like on the bridge and outside the shop, doesn't that suggest it's somehow attached to something that's moving? Well, that does make sense. Between that and the fact that it seems to appear and disappear unpredictably. <laughs> A kudan. That's right, a kudan comes and goes, so when it disappears... The waves Mokina senses would vanish right along with it. So the feather is somehow attached to a kudan. Then the only question is, whose could it be? I'm afraid figuring that one out will be no easy task. Everyone on this world has a kudan of some sort. Even visitors to our world like you guys may discover kudan of their own. Let me explain. A kudan is like a personal protector. No matter how strong or how weak it may be, it watches over the person to whom it belongs. So how do we even begin to look for Sakura's feather? If everyone has a kudan to protect them, there's no way of knowing where to start our search. It could be anywhere. Well, I don't really have any definite ideas yet. But there is one thing I am certain of. Whoever it is that has her feather now must also have an extremely strong kudan. And why do you think that? Her feathers are her memories. Her heart. In order for a Kudan to withstand the Feather's presence, it would have to be strong enough to match her own power. All Kudan vary in strength. There are many that would simply be unable to keep hold of something so powerful. That's a start, at least. So it looks like we need to begin by finding strong Kudan. And when we find the right one, maybe we'll locate Sakura's Feather. <laughs> I guess we should have known it'd be a challenge. People don't just walk around with their kudan out in the open. Well, the Mokina can't tell who has the feather. It's not the only problem. Even assuming we do find the one that has that stupid thing, my dad will just say, oh, really, I didn't realize, and hand it over without a fight. Sharon, there you are! Masayoshi, hey! The feather you're looking for, did you find it yet? No, not yet. I probably know my way around this place better than you do. I could help you guys look for it. Are you sure? Uh-huh. Well then, of course, we'd appreciate that. Masayoshi, Mokina says thanks. 